there's 20 grand at stake. That's what this massive golden wall is worth. Can a team of strangers work together to leave with thousands of pounds today, or will this happen? Decimate. This is Decimate. Decimate. And welcome to Decimate. Let's meet the team hoping to win big money today. I'm Jen, a retired club steward from Cambridgeshire. I'm Greg, front of house team member from Essex. I'm Tony, a conveyancing assistant from Stoke on Trent. Nice. Welcome to the show, guys. Now you've all met each other for the first time. How do you feel about each other at the beginning of the game? Oh, yeah, confident. Yes. Confident. Yeah. Nice yeah, we'll mixed bag. It is a nice mixed bag, yeah. I think yeah. You, I'm fingers crossed you can do well today, okay? Here's oh. hoping you'll be leaving today as lifelong friends with thousands of pounds to share between you. Wouldn't that be lovely, eh? It would. Let's do it. Listen, guys, welcome to the show. Here's how it works. Now, the golden wall is worth twenty thousand pounds. And it's divided into ten columns worth two thousand pounds each. You will each step forward to face ten questions. That's one per column. Get a question right, and that column is safely protected like this. That's what we want, you see. We get that, and the money stays in the game. But get a question wrong, and you know what happens. The man with a deep voice. Decimate. That column is wiped out, and that cash is lost for good. So the idea is to protect as much money as you can, because once all three of you have played, that is going to be what is at stake in the end game. So, Jen, Greg, Tony, are you ready to start? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Jen, don't look so nervous, love. You're making me nervous. Are you all right? <laughs> 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 right, what we need to do, though, is to choose who's going to be playing round one. To help you decide, I'm going to reveal some key words. And these are going to appear in the first round of ten questions. So, you ready? Yep. Yeah. OK, yeah. here come your key words. They are Phileas Fogg, Olympic Stadium, Norway, Duran Duran, Ancient City, Painter, Kardashian, Holmes, Misty Copeland, soft drink. So, having seen those, which one of you is going to step forward and face the golden wall? Jen, Greg, Tony, what are you thinking, guys? Well, my partner thinks I'm a Kardashian stalker, so right. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. I'll go for it. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. So, Tony, you're going to be first to take on the golden wall, but before you do, Jen and Greg have 20 seconds to give you as many facts about those keywords as they can. Jen, Greg, bombard with information. 20 seconds Phil starts now. Phileas Fogg went around the world, oh, didn't right. he, in a balloon? Yeah. He did, yep. Painter um, is something to do with the entire boat. Mr. 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 Do anything from the, the Tate Gallery, Mr. anything. Mr. Soft drinks, Cokes, orange juice could be uh, soft drinks mixed in cocktails, because they're not Norway, alcoholic. Norway, Oslo's the capital. Anyone uh, there on Islam? Scandinavian Mr. country. Copeland. Never heard of it before. What? Never heard of it. What? Mr. Coco. And I'm afraid your time is up. <sighs> Tony. It's now time to step forward for the first time, my love. Come and face the golden wall. <laughs> now, you're not completely on your own, because if there's an answer you're not sure of, okay, you can pass back the question to your teammates. And if they think you've given a wrong answer, they can buzz in to overrule you and okay. change your answer but you only have five overalls and five passbacks between all three of you, so make sure you use them wisely, all right, guys? Yep. Lovely. Right, ready to play the game? I'm ready. Question number one, column number one, for £2,000. Here it comes. In which novel does the character Phileas Fogg go on adventure after making a bet? Is it Around the World in 80 Days, Treasure Island or The Hobbit? I think I know this answer. Phileas Fogg, yeah? Yeah. What do you think it is? Around the World in 80 Days. Yeah? Are you £2,000...? Sure of that. Yeah, go on. Should we lock it in? Let's lock it in. We're going to lock in around the world in 80 days to kick off Tony's game. There is no overall to light up column number one. Is that the correct answer? Come on. Yes, well done, Tony. Great start to the game. Right, question number two. From the 2016-17 season, which football club is due to play its home games at London's Olympic Stadium? Is it... Charlton Athletic, Leighton Orient, or West Ham United? Are you a football fan? I do like my football. Who do you support? Well, don't laugh. Go on. Port Vale. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
think me and Robbie Williams are the only two, but, you that's know, right. let's move on. Robbie's the big supporter, <laughs> isn't he? Yeah. So, what do you know about this one, though? It, it was none of those teams that was in my head. Oh, who did you have in your mind? Something told me that, um, was it Arsenal had put in to have a bigger stadium, but I'm going to take a guess, oh, and, and then, it. and if I'm wrong, they can overrule me, OK, can't they? we're playing tactics now. Yeah. Right, playing as a team. So, which answer would you like to lock in? I'll go for West Ham United. Right. We're going to lock in West Ham United. For £2,000. Column number two is the right answer. West Ham United. The Hammers! Yes, it is! Greg <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Did you know the answer to that one? I'm a West Ham fan, so oh, I knew well, it. I'm really go, hoping Greg. that was going to be my question. Well done, buddy. <laughs> yes, well, yes, we're going to the Olympic Stadium. We like column number two. We're still playing for £20,000 on the wall as we move on to question number three, Tony. Here it comes. Which of these terms is used for the phenomenon of 24 hours of daylight in Norway? Is it polar night, midnight sun or aurora borealis? Um, it's a toughie, isn't it? Yeah, it's a toughie, this mm. one. Don't forget, you've got your pass backs, should you need them. I'm going, to take a, I'm going to take a guess. Yeah? Which one? Aurora Borealis. Do you want to lock it in? Let's lock it in. Let's lock in Aurora Borealis. <laughs> oh, we've got an overrule from Greg and Jen. They think differently. What do you think, guys? I don't think it's Midnight Sun. It is. You, you think it is? It was the land of the midnight sun. I'm not going to argue, yeah? Well... Lock it. Oh, Jen's <laughs> kicking off. You're right, sweetheart. <laughs> Help me. You're right, darling. <laughs> oh, you might be an anna moon, you do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, I think it's the land of the midnight sun. Do you? But that might be somewhere else, mightn't it? No idea. It's not round here, I know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you thinking, Greg? Let's go for midnight sun. Midnight sun. I'm happy with that. You sure? Yeah. yeah. OK. <gasps> The change in your art, some of love. Aurora Borealis oh, yes. is now being changed to Midnight Sun. I'm happy with that, Shane, because it was a stab in the door. OK. To keep a clean sweep, to light up column number three, to still keep 20,000 on that wall. We've still got a long way to go. Is column number three right? Was Jen right to overrule? Yeah! <laughs> right, great start now. Three on a row. Let's see if we can light up column number four and keep 20,000 on the wall. Question number four. Here it comes. Duran Duran have had how many UK number one singles? Is it two, four or six? I'll say two. You're guessing? I'll, I'll say two cos I, I can only think of one. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do? You want to lock in two? I'm getting locked in two. OK, is it a guess? It's a we've, total guess. we've locked in two. Have Duran Duran had two number one singles? To light up column number four. Yes! <laughs> Is there something I should know? Was there a number one in 1983? And in 1984, it was the reflex. Anyway, that's a matter because we've lit up column number four. We're going about halfway as we move on to question number five. This is a great game. Here we go. Turn question number five. In which country would you find the ancient city of Hatra? Is it Iran, Iraq, or Syria? The ancient city of Hatra. Syria. Mm hmm Is the one that's jumping out at me. Right. I'm going to lock in Syria. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to lock in Syria. For column number five. To keep a clean sheet, to bring us halfway along the Golden Wall. Is Syria the correct answer? Decimus. Oh! oh, Tony, I'm sorry, sweetheart. The answer oh. we were looking for was, in fact, Iraq. Listen, we're still in a great position, OK? Yeah. We've lost column number five, which means the wall is now worth £18,000. Guys, still a lot of money, OK? Question number six. Onwards and upwards. Here we go. Which painter said, I would rather die of passion than of boredom? Was it Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, Vincent van Gogh or Andy Warhol? I'm going to have another guess. Yeah? I'm going to lock in Vincent van Gogh. You're going to lock in Vincent van Gogh? OK, you're fairly confident. No. 
Just another educated guess. Just a guess. He may okay. along this wall. We're shape. locking in Vincent van Gogh. Did he say I'd rather die of passion or of boredom? Wall. Is Tony correct? Yes! <laughs> all over this, no, 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 all over this darling. Like all like over this. this. OK. <laughs> right. Now, question <laughs> number seven. Yeah. To protect another £2,000. What is the name of the fashion line founded in 2006 by the Kardashian sisters? You got a big smile on your face here, aren't you? Is it Lamb, Dash, or DVB? My answer's Dash. Are you 100% sure? I'm 100% sure. Yeah? Yeah. Go on, Jen, overall, just for a laugh. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lock in. We've locked in Dash. I've locked in We've Dash. We've locked in Dash. To lie up column number seven, is Dash the right answer? Right, Tony, you ready for question number eight? Let's do it. Here it goes. It goes like this. Who plays Sherlock Holmes in the 2015 film Mr Holmes? Is it Sir Ian McKellen, Sir Patrick Stewart or Sir Michael Gambon? Do you know this? I don't. Do you know? I know what they are. And I couldn't really see a Michael Gambon being Mr Holmes. OK. Who can you see being Mr Holmes? I'm going to take a guess at Patrick Stewart and let them overrule me. OK, so we're going to lock in Sir Patrick Stewart. <clears throat> oh, the overall straight in there. Well done, Greg. Greg thinks differently. What are you thinking, Greg? I think Michael... Is it Gab? No, it's not. It's the top one. We changed it from Sir Patrick Stewart to... Ian McKellen. Jen says Sir Ian McKellen. So we're going to lock in Sir Ian McKellen to light up column number eight. Is Jen right to overrule? Yes! Well done, Jen. <laughs> you just started to show you, I'm going you. OK, well done. Great position. £18,000 on the wall as we move on to your penultimate question. Question number nine. Playing a great game here, Tony. Misty Copeland is best known for her work in which artistic discipline? Is it ballet dancing, operatic singing or heart playing? You know, heart playing is a bit random, isn't it? It is. It's a bit random. It and is so very is Mr. Random. Copeland's name, so yeah. I'm gonna go for heart playing. Really? Yeah. Should we lock it in? Let's lock it in. Let's lock in heart playing to light up column number nine to keep eighteen thousand pounds on the wall. Is heart playing the correct answer? Decimate. No! You know what, my love? I, I ain't got a clue either. Misty Copeland's best known for her. Any other guesses there, Greg, Jen? Any ideas? Uh, if I guess we'd I would overall, say... Yeah, we'd have gone operatic. Operatic. Singer. Operatic. That... What is the correct answer? <laughs> Ballet dance. We all got it wrong. OK. <laughs> We're afraid we've lost column number nine, yeah. which means the wall is now still a healthy £16,000. Still a lot of money, I'm sure you agree, yeah? Yeah. OK. Your last and final question, round one. Question number ten. Which soft drink was created by a pharmacist called John Pemberton in 1886? Was it Coca-Cola, Dr Pepper or Pepsi-Cola? I think Dr Pepper. Yeah, what makes you think that? Because he's a pharmacist. Right. And his name Pemberton. It's a bit similar to Pepper. He's going to lock okay. it in. Do you want to lock it in? Yeah, let's lock it in. We're going to lock in Dr Pepper. No overall from your teammates. £16,000 going into round two would be lovely. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Column number 10. Is Dr Pepper the right answer? Decimate. Oh! Wow. I thought you were right. Oh. That makes sense. You know, being a pharmacist, a doctor, John Pemberton, what is the right answer? It was Coca-Cola. But give Tony a big round of applause as she returns to your team. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> right, guys. Let's play the great round, though. Great Brilliant. round. Yeah, we only, well done. We well only done. decimated three columns. We're still in a great position. £14,000 still in the game. We're going to take that and spread it evenly across ten new columns. And it's now going to look like this. Look at that. Still a healthy wall. £14,000 up there. And each column is now worth £1,400. Big decision we've got to make. Who's going to play next? It's going to be Jen or Greg. But before we decide, we're going to give you a crucial keyword to help you decide. 
Here come your key words. They are Latter day Saints, Ingvar Kamprad, Capricorn, Rover, Breton, Blarney Stone, Fearless, Soap Opera, Horn, or Outlaw. So, who do you think is best to play round two? I think you. Me? Yeah. I'll have a go if you want. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. If, if you yeah. feel. Ha yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Jen, before you step up, Greg and Tony, as before, will have them 20 seconds to cram your brain with as many useful facts they can think of. Are you ready, guys? Don't let me down. Greg, Tony, 20 seconds starts now. Right, with Soap Opera's obviously got things like Emmerdale, Coronation Street, EastEnders. EastEnders had the recently biggest storyline store of Who Killed Lucy Bill. Emmerdale, you've had the helicopter crash, uh, Coronation Street, the dumb do of a wedding. Capricorn is a zodiac sign. You've got all the others, obviously, the zodiac signs as well. The, um, <laughs> the, the rest are alienated to me. Oh, I'm afraid your time is up. Wah, wah, oops. Greg, you know your soaps, don't you, mate? You know more than <laughs> I do, and I'm in one of them. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> Did that help at all, Jen? Yeah. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> right, Jen, will you please step forward and face the golden wall? <laughs> uh, yeah. OK, you ready to play, Jen? Yes. Come on, Diane. 14,000 on that wall. The first question is worth £1,400. Right. Question number one. A member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is commonly known by what name? Is it Mormon, Rastafarian or Scientologist? I have an idea. What's it's your idea, love? Mormon. Yeah, I'll go with my first thought. Yeah? You think yeah. it's Mormon? Do you want to lock it in? Yes. Let's lock in Mormon to get her game off to a good start, to protect £14,000 on the wall. Is Mormon the correct answer? Yes! Well done, Jen. Great start to the game. Onwards and upwards. Question number two. Here it comes. Ingvar Kamprad founded which chain of furniture shops? Habitat, Ikea or DFS? I don't know this one. But I think, yeah, going by the name, it's going to be Ikea. Yeah, you want to lock it in? Yes. Let's lock in Ikea. <gasps> well, no your overruled. teammates are not overruling you, unless they haven't got a clue. Ingvar Kamprad <sighs> to protect. £14,000 on the wall. Column number two, is that the correct answer? Yeah! Right. Question number three to protect column number three. Here it comes. The Tropic of Capricorn passes through which of these countries? Is it Peru, Bolivia or Paraguay? I think I'm going to use a pass back. Yeah, OK. But, yeah, pass back. OK, we're passing back, guys. Greg, Tony, she's relying on you. Before the answers came up, yeah. I thought Paraguay. Tony? I think blank. OK. <laughs> Pressure's on you, Greg. Yeah, I'll, yeah, Paraguay. Let's go for it. OK, we're locking in Paraguay. Right, to protect £1,400, to keep 14000 on this journey. Is Paraguay the correct answer? Yes! Well done, well done, well done buddy. Well done, done pal. Well done. Done. Nice bit of teamwork played there. Well done. OK, we're down to three overalls and four passbacks. As we move on to question number four, we're still playing for £14,000. In 2013, a Chinese rover with what name made the first controlled landing on the moon in 37 years? Was it Opal Dragon, Topaz Rooster or Jade Rabbit? Wow! That is a question and a half, isn't it? Isn't it just? They can overrule me, can't they? Yep. I'm going to go for Topaz Rooster. Yeah? OK. Let's lock in Topaz Rooster. <laughs> oh, and Tony overrules just in time. What are you thinking, Tony? Uh, something tells me Jade Rabbit, and I don't know Let's why. Let's go for it. Uh, I'm probably just making it up in my head. We're going for the Jade Rabbit. We're changing the answer from Topaz Rooster <coughs> to Jade Rabbit. Jen's been overawed by her team mates. Will they be mates after this? <laughs> to protect column number four to keep 14,000 on the wall. Were you right to overrule column number four? 
Yes! Oh, well done! Well done! Wow! Gosh! Whoa! That was good. That was brilliant. That was wow. very good, that was not it, eh? OK, question number five to light up column number five. You ready for this, Jen? Yep. Here we go. What type of pattern would you usually find on a Breton top? Is it... Oh. Stars, stripes or checks? Yeah. Do you know this, Jen? Yeah, I'm fairly happy with this. I think it's stripes. Yeah? Do you want to yes. lock it in? Yes. Let's lock in at stripes. <laughs> no one's overruling you. Is stripes the right answer? Yes! <laughs> well, look at that. That is looking good. Still playing for £14,000. <gasps> We're over the halfway mark now. Question number six. God We're at £1,400. Here it comes. According to folklore, what gift is bestowed on anyone who kisses the Blarney Stone? Is it education, eloquence or energy? Oh, yes. You know this? Well, you say somebody's kissed the Blarney Stone when they've got a lot of... Yeah. So... Yeah. Oh, a lot of rabbit. Talk. Rabbit, oh. rabbit, rabbit. So I think it's eloquence. You think it's eloquence? I do. Do you want to lock it in? Yes. Let's lock in eloquence. According to folklore, what gift is bestowed on anyone who kisses the Blarney Stone? To light up column number six, Jen has said eloquence. No one is overruling. Is that correct? For £1,400? <laughs> yes! Jen! Great <laughs> game. <laughs> well done, eloquence. I'm full of eloquence. OK, question number seven. Which female solo artist has released albums titled Fearless and Red? Is it Taylor Swift, Beyonce or Katy Perry? I bet you know all those artists, didn't you, girl? I've heard of them. Yeah? <laughs> I'm going to pass this one back. OK, we're going to do another pass back. Yes. Right, it might be a wise decision. I'm sure... No, I think... Tony will know this. You think Tony will know this? Well, she's yes. relying on you, Tony. We're going for a pass back. What are you thinking, my love? I think it's Taylor Swift. You think? Yeah. How about you, Greg? You Taylor agree? Swift. We're going to lock in Taylor Swift yeah. to light up column number seven to protect £14,000 on the wall. Is Taylor Swift the correct answer? Yes! Well played! Hey, this is a great team play, by the way, guys. Really great team play. Right, still playing for £14,000. Question number eight, column number eight. Stinks in here, done it. Was the very first line spoken in which UK soap opera? Was it Brookside, Coronation Street or EastEnders? I'm reasonably confident with this one. Well, what do you think it is? I think it's EastEnders. So, you want to lock in EastEnders? <laughs> yes. OK, we're locking it in to light up column number eight. Is that the very first line spoken in the UK soap opera? Yes, of course it is. Well done. Listen, we're still playing for £14,000. Penultimate question. So far, Jen, this is a clean wall. Look how healthy this looks, eh? We'll try and keep it like that, OK? Right, question number nine. You ready? Yes. Which Arctic marine mammal is famous for having a horn protruding from its head? Is it Greenland shark, a narwhal, or a hooded seal? I know this. So what do and you think it is? It's a narwhal. All right, should we lock it in? Yes. This will be lovely now, because then we're only one column away from protecting £14,000. We're locking in narwhal. Is that the correct answer? Is Jen right to light up column number nine for £1,400? <laughs> yes! Well done, Jen! Wow. Question number ten to light up your last and final column. Here it comes. The American outlaw, sometimes called William H. Bonnie Jr., was better known by which name? You've got a big grin on your face here, Jen. Was it Billy the Kid, Jesse James or Butch Cassidy? Billy the Kid. Yeah? It's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah? Yes. Lock, lock it in. in. We're going to lock in Billy the Kid. <sighs> There's no overall from your teammates. Ten golden columns all relies on this one answer to take £14,000 into the next round. We've locked in Billy the Kid. Is that the correct answer? Yes! 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 Yes!
give a big round of applause if you don't join your team. Well done, my friend. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. So, £14,000, each column still worth £1,400, thanks to Jen. Greg, my man. <laughs> a lot of pressure on them shoulders of yours. Oh, no, You're up last. Oh, no. Just want to remind you, the more columns you can keep in play, the more cash you'll be taking through to the end game. Yeah. Do you have a look at your keywords? Yeah, why not? Oh, why Let's not? give it a go. Here they are. We have Nutmeg, Beowulf, Gas Giants, Bagpuss, Meryl Streep, Naseby, Apple, Corinthian, Cara Delevingne, Barrick Green. Right, Jen, Tony, are you ready? Give them as much information, as much as you can. 20 seconds, starting now. Nigel was the last battle in the Civil War. Meryl Streep's the Oscar winning actress. Yeah. Apple is the name of uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's and um, Chris Martin's yeah. child. Yeah. Cara, right. Cara Delevingne is a supermodel. Um, the outside of a nutmeg is called Mace. Right. Beowulf, that's um, yeah. in, in a <laughs> book, sure isn't it? Oh, I'm afraid the time is up, guys. Greg, any of that help? It, yeah, it did, actually. I'm hoping that, the, obviously, the things they've given me are the questions that will come up. Greg, my man, a lot of pressure. I'm sure you can do it. Please step forward and face the golden wall. <laughs> oh, mate, just remind you, you've got three passbacks yep. and two overalls. So, little friends, uh, were you married? You've got a girlfriend, partner? Uh, fiance. Wow. Fiance. How so, long have yeah. you been together? Oh, we have been together since 2007, so eight years. So what would you do with your share of the money if you could go away and leave today with a share of £14,000? Pay for the wedding of her dreams. Lovely. Greg, you ready to play, buddy? Your two teammates there have set up a wonderful game, £14,000. We want to try and bring that into the end game. I'll try my best. All right, ready for question number one? Let's do it. Here comes Greg. Question number one to light up column number one worth £1,400. It is... If you experienced a nutmeg, which sport would you be playing? Is it cricket, football, boxing? Being a West Ham fan, I think we've seen a lot of these during the, uh, the goalkeepers we've had, so nutmeg it is yeah. a term used in football. OK, we're going to lock in football. <phone rings> to light up column number one, to keep £14,000 in play, is football the correct answer? Of course it is. Good start to your game. Greg, here we go. Question number two. In Norse mythology, what creature does Beowulf slay in order to protect his realm? Is it Chimera, dragon or Cyclops? I'm going to rule out dragon altogether. OK. I'm going to go... You should have three passbacks should you need them, Greg. I think I'll go for the third one, Cyclops. Yeah? Yeah, and hopefully if... Um... If Jen or Tony know it, they'll, they'll overrule me. Lock in, Cyclops. We're going to lock in Cyclops. <laughs> oh, there's an overrule from the ladies. What are you thinking? Chimera. You think it's Chimera? Why? Well, that's, a, that's a, a monster that comes up in crossword clues a lot. Change it to Chimera? Yes. OK. Greg said Cyclops. It's been overruled by Jen, who says it's Chimera. She might know a Norse mythology. Is Chimera the right answer? Was Jen right to overrule? Column number two. Decimus. Oh, no! sorry. Oh, I thought you had that. Wow. The answer we're looking for is... Dragon. It was Dragon. What's was Dragon. Dragon. OK, listen. Slight hiccup. We've lost column number two, but that doesn't matter, OK? Because we're still playing for £12,600, guys. Yeah. OK? Question number three. The so-called gas giants of our solar system consist of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and which other planet? Is it Mercury, Venus or Neptune? I'm going to lock in Neptune. That's the only reason I think it is because Neptune is the closest to the last planet. So I'm going I'm to lock in Neptune. We're going to lock in Neptune. No overalls from the ladies. If this is right, we're still playing for £12,600. Is Neptune the correct answer? Yes! yes. Oh. Well done, buddy. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> right, still playing for £12,600. Over four grand each there, guys. Question number four to light up column number four. Worth £1,400. Here it comes. 
In the children's TV series, what was the name of the little girl who owned Bagpuss the cat? Was it Emily, Lucy, or Sophie? I'm going to pass it back to Jen and Tony. You want to use a pass back? Yeah, I'll use right, a pass back. Right, it back to the lady. Yeah, Ladies, okay. in the children's TV series, what was the name of the little girl who owned Bagpuss the cat? Emily, Lucy, or Sophie? I don't know. Think so. I, I don't know. Sophie, just. Do you remember yeah. Bagpuss? Remember watching it? Yeah. Well, no. I don't. I don't know. I'm just thinking Sophie. You think Sophie? I honestly don't know. So. Well, I don't. When he's we, we're, we're stuck, stuck, aren't we? We're yeah. all guessing. Yeah. So what do you reckon? Yeah. We, what do you want to do? We're locking. Sophie. Locking Sophie. We're going to lock in Sophie. <laughs> with the end game of twelve thousand six hundred pounds. If this is right, we're protecting column number four. Is Sophie the correct answer? Column number four, 1,400 pounds. Decimus. Oh! oh! Please don't be Emily. <sighs> don't worry about that. I didn't know, ladies. Don't worry about it. If I'd have pushed you for an answer, though, and you, if you had no passbacks, would you have gone for Emily? Yeah, I would have gone, I would have gone for Emily. Is Emily the correct answer? Oh, oh it is. Shame. Not to worry. Hey, Never come on. Mind. Listen, we've still got a long way to go. We're now playing for 11,200. OK? Question number five. How many times has Meryl Streep been nominated for an Academy Award? Is it 11, 15 or 19? I didn't think it was that many, so my first gut instinct is to go for 11. Do you want to lock in 11? I'll lock in 11. Let's lock in 11. We want to try and keep 11,200 for the end game. Still a lot of money to play for. Is 11 the correct answer? Decimus. Oh. Greg, I'm sorry, mate. It's not what? Oh, blimey, it is, it is anybody's guess. But if it's not 11, 15 or 19, what's the correct answer? <sighs> Nominated 19 times. We've lost column number five. The wall is now worth £9,800. That's all right. Still good money, yeah? Yeah, still good money. Jen, still good Tony, money. okay? Yeah, yeah. fine. Lovely. Right, we've still got two passbacks and one overall. Okay, we're over the halfway mark. Question number six. During the English Civil War, the Battle of Naseby took place in which county? Is it Warwickshire, Leicestershire, or Northamptonshire? Because I've moved to the Midlands, I'm going to go Leicestershire. Yeah? Yeah, that's the only reason. It's the only one that's... That's probably the only reason it's jumping out of me, but, yeah, let's just go for Leicestershire okay. and hopefully... We're going to lock in it. Leicestershire. One overall left. Okay, it's still in play. To light up column number six, to keep £9,800 in play. Is Leicestershire the correct answer? Decimus. Oh. Three in a row. The answer we were looking for was Northamptonshire. So the wall is still worth £8,400. As we move on to question number seven. Let's break this row of bad luck here now, OK? Yeah. Who took over as the CEO of Apple in 2011? Was it Larry Page, Tim Cook or Mark Zuckerberg? to keep £8,400 in play. If it was me, I'll go for lower page. But I'm not 100%, so I'm going to pass it back to Tony and hopefully... Okay. Well, and Jen as well. Of but course. I, hope, I think Tony will know this answer. Right. Pass back to the ladies. Jen, Tony, who took over as CEO of Apple in 2011? Larry Page, Tim Cook or Mark Zuckerberg? Who well, thinks Larry Page? Well, we do what he thinks then. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with Larry Page. Right. We're going to lock in Larry Page. If this is correct, we keep £8,400 in play. If not, column number seven will be decimated. To keep £8,400 in play, is Larry Page the correct answer? Decimated. No, 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 no. Where's the exit door? I'm going. The answer we were looking for was Tim Cook. All right. Question number eight. Doric, Ionic and Corinthian are styles of which architectural feature? Is it 
Stairways, fountains or columns. We have one pass back and one overall left. 7,000 on the wall. I think it's columns. Corinthian, column, locking columns. We're going to lock in columns. <laughs> Fingers crossed, mate. To light up column number eight. Is columns the correct answer? Yes! yes! Jen, you knew that one, didn't you, sweetheart? Yep. OK, your penultimate question. Question number nine. £7,000, still a hell of a lot of money to play for. Which of these brands released a range of bags named after model Cara Delevingne? Is it Mulberry, Louis Vuitton or Chanel? I'm going to lock in Chanel. Let's lock in Chanel. Oh, right. What are you thinking, ladies? Tony? You think, you think well, I'm, I'm thinking Mulberry. She's English. Lock it in. Let's yep. lock it in. We're locking in Mulberry. Right. We need this to keep £7,000. Column nine. Is Mulberry the correct answer? Yes! Oh, well wow. done, guys. Oh. Great overall. Well done, Tony. Great team play, guys. There's only one column standing in the way between the end game of £7,000. We can do this. Question number 10. Here it comes. Barwick Green is a theme tune to which BBC Radio 4 programme? Is it Desert Island Discs, The Archers, or Just a Minute? You still have a pass back should you need it. Your last pass back. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Yeah? Yeah, I'll use the pass back. OK, for the last and final time, Greg is relying on Jen and Tony. What are you thinking, ladies? We really want to keep £7,000 for the end game. Is that your gut instinct? I think it's the archers. Yeah? You reckon? What should we do? Should we lock it in? Yes. Yeah? Yes. We all agree? Ooh. OK, we're going to lock in the archers. This is right. We finish round three, going to the end game with £7,000. Let's hope Jen's pulled this one out the bag. Is the Archers theme tune called Barwick Green to light up our last and final column? Yes! yes! Oh, Get in there, girl. Well done, sweetheart. Wow. Brilliant. Give a big round of applause. Greg, as you return to your teammates. Well done, buddy. Wowza! Now, the big moment, the chance to win that £7,000. Here's how it works. We divide the cash once more into ten equal columns. A little reshuffle is going to look like this. There we go. £7,000 on the wall. To leave with the cash, you must work your way across the wall one last time, lighting up all ten columns. But now, you'll have just two minutes to do it. You'll get three chances to light each column. And the questions, though, guys, do get easy, OK? But, of course, the more questions you need, the more time you're going to use up. Should you get all three questions wrong and that column and its cash is lost, we rebuild the wall and a teammate must take over from where you left off. Now, if as a team you fail to light up all ten columns, Jen, Greg, Tony, I'm afraid you will leave with nothing. Wow. Here come your ten key words. They are Ring, Sydney, David Beckham, Paddington, Blue Peter, Columbia, Pirates, Stewart, Hamlet, Atlas. So, big decision to make. You met today as strangers, but you've worked as a team brilliantly. Now, it's a chance to share that prize of £7,000. I need to know who is going to face the Golden Wall first. Who's it going to be? Go on, I'll go yeah. first. Go on, I'll go first. Yeah? Yeah. All right, Tony, the responsibility has fallen to you. So, Tony, will you please come and face the Golden Wall? <laughs> so what are you playing for? Here we are. Light up all ten columns within the time and you and your team will be leaving with £7,000. 
I'm going to put two minutes on the clock. That time will start when I finish reading the first question. Good luck, Tony. Ring. Who had a UK number one single in 1979 with Ring My Bell? Donna Summer. Anita Ward. In The Lord of the Rings, the One Ring is taken to Mordor chiefly by which hobbit? Gandalf. Frodo Baggins. A wedding ring is traditionally worn on the fourth finger of which hand? Left. Correct. Sydney. Sydney Carton is the main character in which novel by Charles Dickens? Pass. Tale of Two Cities. The Danish architect Jörn Utzon designed which well-known Sydney landmark? Harbour Bridge. No, Sydney Opera House. The Sydney-born supermodel known as The Body is L. Who? McPherson. Correct. David Beckham. In what year's World Cup was David Beckham sent off after kicking an opponent? 98. Correct. Paddington. In the 2014 film Paddington, which actor provided the voice of Paddington Bear? Pass. Ben Whishaw. Paddington Bear originally came from which South American country? Argentina. Peru. In the Paddington Bear stories, what is his favourite sandwich filling? Marmalade. Correct. Blue Peter. Winners and runners-up for Blue Peter competitions are awarded the badge of what colour? Blue. Orange. Who left Blue Peter in 2007 having become its longest-serving female presenter? Pass. Connie Huck. The often-used phrase on Blue Peter is, here's one I made what? Earlier. Correct. Colombia. Which country that links South and Central America borders Colombia? Pass. Panama. What is the capital city of Colombia? Pass. Bogota. Colombia is named after which Italian-born explorer? Christopher Columbus. Correct. Pirates. The group of Caribbean pirates led by Sir Henry Morgan that attacked Spanish ships in the 17th century were known by what name? Pass. Buccaneers. In the Pirates of the Caribbean film series, who plays Will Turner? Orlando Bloom. Correct. Stewart. Which satirical US TV news show was written and presented by American comedian John Stewart? Pass. The Daily Show. During the early 1970s, Rod Stewart and Ronnie Wood were members of what band? Rolling Stones. The Faces. In which superhero film franchise does Patrick Stewart play Professor Charles Xavier? Star Trek. No, it's x <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, the answer was X-Men, but give Tony a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> oh, Tony! I'm afraid you didn't quite make it across the wall, which means self, Jen and Greg will be leaving with nothing. Come and join us, guys. I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh, come here. Well, listen, have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah, it's been yeah, brilliant. It's been great. Yeah. yeah, lovely. Thank you. And listen, you played brilliantly as a team. You should be really proud of yourself. You've met strangers. And I hope all three of you are going to keep in touch after this. Absolutely. OK. Well, unfortunately, they're going to be going away with nothing. But join me next time to see whether another team of complete strangers can take home a huge cash prize or whether they'll be decimated. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. See ya.